hello and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new I'm Anna Mae and I make style lifestyle videos with a little bit of sewing sprinkled in sometimes and today is one of those times. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience making the Monica dress from Carolina Patterns. Uh, Carolina Patterns is an Etsy shop. I buy a lot of my patterns on Etsy and I had it purchased a long time ago and I was trying to find the right fabric and then it was just a bit intimidating of a pattern for me as very much a beginner but I managed to do it as you've probably seen from the thumbnail pictures um, but I just need to jump right in. So the Monica dress is a kind of a deep v-neck dress with floaty kind of puffy sleeves and they are about like elbow length and they have ties it has a gathered waist and a flowy skirt and there is a long version and a short version. I made the short version. Um, the long version though would be beautiful for any sort of event. The pattern calls for I believe like a, a lightweight fabric, something kind of flowy. So I picked this, I think it's viscose um, from Minerva. If I can find it I'll link it down below. I believe it was on sale. I wanted something blue and white. Um, I pretty much only wear a couple colours, not intentionally, but uh, one of those colours is navy, but I wanted to get more blue, so I decided this would be the perfect fabric. Um, it is very lightweight and I was actually afraid it was going to be too light, but it's actually, now that I've completed the project, absolutely perfect. And this was also a very inexpensive fabric. The other things that you need for this pattern are lining and an invisible zip and some um, fusible interfacing. That said, I did not use <laughs> fusible interfacing for the cuffs and I also did not line the top of the dress. Basically, I was really unhappy with all the lining I had bought. I just wasn't confident about, you know, structuring it with lining and I just didn't want it. I didn't really care for it. I thought that the dress was so lightweight. If anything really needed lining, it was the skirt and I definitely didn't want the kind of lining I had for the skirt, under the skirt, so I just decided to wing it and do it without it, and it turned out perfectly fine. I'll insert some clips of me wearing the dress as I'm talking, um, but I think this dress turned out fabulously. I obviously did the short version, and I did it without lining. So for the top portion, I just turned in the um, edge along the neckline. Ideally, I think bias tape, like bias binding, would be the best option there, but because of where I live, I have to order everything online and I hadn't ordered enough bias tape and I didn't have white. So I just decided to just turn it in and hem it. Also for the hem of the skirt, I did not sew it. I actually used like Wonderweb, you know that? Like I used a, a fusible um, webbing, what's that called? I used that because this fabric is so lightweight. Any sort of stitching would really show and I didn't want that and I you know, just wasn't feeling it. My gut just told me not to do it, so I just used a fusible interfacing to give it a really smooth look, and I think it turned out really well because it's such a lightweight, flowy fabric. As far as the pattern itself, things like darts and everything like that was really easy. You know, the pattern itself, the shape was fine, very understandable. The instructions were not super beginner friendly um, compared to some other patterns that I've used. They were definitely confusing and I very much kind of winged it. I would say a lot of how I sewed together this garment is not according to the pattern because I was just so confused with the pattern. Um, that said, I would probably purchase from Carlina Patterns again because I think their designs are beautiful and I think even if you have some knowledge of how garments are put together, it's probably worth it. Um, the, there are minimal instructions but there's a lot of diagrams and other things that are really really helpful in putting together your garment so you know it's it's give and take with that I you know wouldn't insert any photos here because you know it's, it's a purchased product but they do have some really nice illustrations and things like that for the finished garment but just there's very little to do with the actual process of putting the garment together. I wouldn't call this an easy pattern but it wasn't super difficult either. Um, it has beautiful gathers at the shoulders and that shape I've realized really suits me. I have pretty broad shoulders um, and it just sits really well on me. This dress, one thing I don't think I've mentioned yet, it is so comfortable. Like 
I didn't think I was ever going to be using this pattern again because I was just so confused with the instructions but I'm definitely going to be making multiple versions of this dress maybe switching out the sleeves and things like that because the I guess their size chart and things like that just work perfectly for me I cannot remember what size I made but I will put that in the description with the link to the actual pattern so as I said like I We'll definitely be using this pattern again so expect to see it on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at anime by design. I post a lot over there um, and I'm gonna be making this pattern again for sure. Maybe in a wintry fabric I think it would be nice. I just think the shape really suits me and it's great when you find something that really works for you. I don't think there's anything I would really change about the pattern in itself. If anything at the bust in between um, the two panels. I feel like there's something that could go there. If you're someone who likes buttons on things, maybe you can put buttons. I'm really not a decorative button fan. Um, but I considered putting like a little bow there. I think if I was to make a wintry version of this dress, I would put maybe a velvet bow there or else I would do velvet ties on the cuffs of the sleeves, something like that to jazz it up. Uh, but overall, love this pattern and I could not recommend it enough. Even though the instructions are really lacking, I think for me, for my body shape, if you follow me on Instagram, I think you might get like a better idea of what I look like. It really, really works for me. So that is how I did it. I don't think I have any clips of me actually putting together this garment because I was very stressed out through the whole thing because I really didn't understand the instructions, but I'm so happy with the outcome. That is just my little brief rundown of the Monica dress or the Monica pattern from Carolina Patterns and my experience making the dress. I really loved the pattern. You can see how it turned out in all of these clips. I have more photos on Instagram. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this again. So subscribe to see if I do, if I make a winter version, I'll make a video uh, showing how I put together the pattern. Other than that, I'm just delighted with my make. If you have any particular questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm hoping to make a little bit more sewing content just because of where I am in life right now. I don't have many other things going on. So sewing is kind of, something fun I'm doing and I am making a couple pieces right now for travels because I'm going on two trips pretty soon which is wild so subscribe to see those because I'm hopefully going to be filming content around those as well and follow me on Instagram at anime by design and I will see you in my next video